Hello everyone, it's finally collection day event. We've been waiting for this a very long time. We've gotten a lot of leaks, we've gotten a lot of rumors, and finally, today is the day of the collection event. So, today I will be taking you with me on the journey of making questionable financial decisions. Um, no, I will not be disclosing how much I've spent on this. If anybody who knows me is watching this, no, I would not like to talk about it. Um, I'm doing this for content, but also because I, I do love Valkyrie. She's one of my, uh, I would consider mains, like behind Watson. Um, yeah, two, two, <laughs> 244 kills. That's quite a lot, actually. But I do love her. I love playing her. I see she's so fun. She, I mean, you get to fly, and they're like, I mean, look at this sick skin. This skin. I remember when this came out, and this was uh, when this skin came out. I was just like beginning to like open to the idea of like spending money on skins for other characters besides Watson. And this is this is the skin that opened the floodgates and now I am in financial ruin because of the skin. But it's worth it because it's a beautiful skin. I love it. It's it's probably my favorite Watson skin, huh? It's probably my favorite skin in the entire game, which says a lot because, you know, but it's a shame because she gets so many cool skins. I have all these and I never use them. <laughs> because uh, it's not that cool but she gets all these really neat skins and i never use them because i'm like oh but the but the birthright one it's just so cool and i mean look at the helmet and stuff so yeah but anyway um it is collection day event which means spend money day um i will be taking you guys on the journey with me to open my packs um last time when i had when i did the crypto one i actually i don't think i recorded any of it but i did clip some of it because i got like a lot of good packs i think the footage is now deleted but um hopefully i have some of the luck that i had last time because i did get a couple golds that were outside of the event um so hopefully we can pull some good stuff today okay so i have two items already um obviously uh, there's a specific method if you're going to be buying the heirloom that you want to follow. You always want to get these two bundles that have these extra packs in them. It's always just cheaper. So I think I will be using my crafting materials. See how many- I, I could probably get like two items, let's be honest. I'll get the fuse banner. I'll get the seer banner. And I'll get- that's it. I, I can only get two. You see, I had 2,000 crafting materials and it took me. I've been collecting since the previous collection event, which was the crypto heirloom, and I got two items. Um, it seems a little silly, but I think it is worth it to collect it. Unless there's like something that you really, really want to unlock. I think it's good to collect them if you plan on investing into these collection events. Let's get to opening my packs and let's hope that I get something good. Oh, okay. Starting off strong, a purple, blue, and a legendary. Oh, okay. So this is the rampage skin. I don't think I'm gonna, you know, I will, I'll, I'll equip all the new skins and then later I'll see, you know, okay, do I actually like this or is this, you know, it's kind of meh. And that's just kind of whatever. Okay. Next pack. Okay, okay, and then gold and two blues. I will take any and all crafting materials. All right, this Horizon skin. This Horizon skin reminds me a lot of the one that I have. Um, the black. Oh, she has white hair. I didn't even notice that. Interesting. All right, next one. All right, two blues and gold. Okay, the hemlock skin. Very nice. I, I'm so excited for this ash skin. I think it's the best ash skin that they've ever released, which says a lot because I feel like she does have a lot of good skins, but this one by far takes the cake for me. Um, of course, this hemlock looks very nice. I have the reactive one, but I will equip this one and use it for a while. 
this oh i don't actually know if i have any other trackers for her but i'll, I'll equip it sure and then a red skin which is just kind of meh all right next pack all right we get a purple it might be like an emo or something oh <laughs> i totally forgot that this was one of the skins that was gonna be released um sure i'll, I'll use it Oh, okay, a purple and then legendary. Oh, okay. This is a pretty nice longbow. Um, I am a little partial to the one that I have, but of course, like I said before, I will equip it. Um, it's got a very interesting shape. I actually do like the way that it's like the silhouette of the gun. I think it's pretty interesting. Uh, I think there might be like another longbow that's pretty similar, but this one's pretty cool. Alright, purple. A gun skin? Oh, it's the Mangler emote. Okay, sick. Now I can punch my friends while we stand around and do nothing. Oh, two purples. Whoa! Oh, I got the, I got the other uh, punching emote. That's funny. So if you have like a Newcastle and a Mangler on your team, do you think like if you timed it correctly, you could just punch each other and like... Yeah, just punch each other and stuff. That would be funny. It's just there. <laughs> oh, a gold. Oh, here she is. Ah, she's so well made. My favorite Ash skin by far. It gives me a lot of Warframe vibes, but it is such a beautiful skin and I'm so happy to have it. Okay, three purples. Ooh. I was like, wait, I was like, wait a second, which one of these is supposed to be the event? Because I'm like, this is from an event. But it's this one. This is not a bad L Star skin, and I feel like I don't have that many. So I'll take it. Um man, those are good. Oh, okay, a gold, purple, and a blue. Ah, uh, the PK skin! Okay. I get bullied a lot for my current PK skin. It's the Demolisher one. It's the yellow, like, one that you can just pull whenever. I get bullied because... Well, I specifically get bullied by my friend Eric. He's like, it's so big and I can't see any of your screen. And I feel so bad for my little PK skin because I actually like that skin. And I'm like, oh, you're so mean to, like, my little PK skin that I've had since the beginning. And uh, this will be an exchange. It's a pretty nice skin too. I'm sure it's slimmer um, than the one that I have, but we'll have to see it in game. I always feel bad. Well, once you <laughs> once you reach a level 500, you like get no packs whatsoever unless you like buy the battle pass or you get them from trackers. So like these collection events are so fun for me because I'm like, oh my god, I finally get to see like. I finally get to open packs and like see colors that aren't just white, blue, blue, or white, white, blue, you know? So I was like, mm, is this like kind of a, a bad habit? But it's fine, it's fine. I'm sure it's, there's nothing wrong with it. Oh, the massive skin. I think I've gotten the massive a total times of once this season. So um, we'll see if I even get to pick this up and like see it in game. Well, I, I could go into the firing range, but it's different, you know, when you're in the game. I'm getting a lot of Newcastle stuff because I have like nothing for him. <laughs> oh, the mad Maggie skin. I want to talk about this because um, when the Super Diddly got leaked, a lot of people were like, man, what is this supposed to be? And it's like, oh, what is like, is it supposed to be this? And I was like, that looks like Monster Hunter. That looks like the Monster Hunter skin, or skin, armor set. Um, I believe it's called the, well, I, the first armor set that I ever got in the world was Pookie Pookie, right? I think that's how you say it. Um, so I was like, that looks like that. Cause it's like green. It's like, you know, it's got like the whole vibe. And then I talked to some other people and they're like, oh, it's like the Rathian. I think it's the Rathian one. Excuse me. It's been a while since I've seen the monsters names and there's so many, but um, yeah. And I'm like, it's so monster hunter -y. And then someone's like, oh, it's, it's Godzilla. And I was like, yeah, I, I, I guess I could see that. But I choose to believe that it's like a monster hunter reference. 
But it's a really good skin. I like it. I think I like this one better than her Battle Pass one. So I'm probably going to be rocking this one. But again, I don't really play Mad Maggie, so we'll see if I even get to see this. <laughs> Ooh, it's gold. I, I get so excited every time. I'm like, oh, it's a gold. Oh, it's a car skin. I just got the pastel perfection one, which I've been wanting for the longest time, but I absolutely refuse to buy it with crafting materials because I'm like, no, I need to save it for the collection of that. And then I got it one day and I was like, oh, finally, like, I got it. And now I get this one and I'm like, dude, there's so many good car skins, like between pastel perfection, this one, and then what's the last one? Oh, the dragon one. I'm like, dude, there's so many good ones. And then another one I specifically remember is the ash one that came with her ash launch bundle. I kind of regret not getting that, but to be honest, I have some of her other skins. So I'm like, okay, what's the point of having all that skin, you know? But I'm like, dude, this one is just like, Ugh. it's just so many. And I'm like, ah, but okay, we're gonna clip it. And skin. Uh, nothing crazy about this. Uh, pretty simple one. Just an epic, but I'll equip it and see what it looks like. Oh, boom. Oh, okay. The fusy skin. Interesting skin. Again, when I first saw it, I was like, dude, what is this referencing? Like, I had no idea. And it's Donkey Kong. And I was like, oh, okay. No, wait, what? Donkey Kong? No. Oh my god, it's King Kong. King Kong. Oh my god, I can't speak. <laughs> no, yeah, this is definitely uh, referencing Donkey Kong. Sure. Oh, I get two golds and a purple. Oh, a Mad Maggie skin. Um,. Very cool. I think I'm gonna leave the uh, collection of that one equipped though, but it's cool that I got this. Woo! Uh, this is not from. No, this isn't. Hmm? Huh? Oh, this is a devotion skin. This isn't even in the collection event. Oh my god, I got two items that are not in the collection event whatsoever. Uh, okay, you know, it's fine. You know, I, we're just gonna skip over that. <laughs> so confused. Oh, wait a second. Okay, well, which one is the one from the? Okay, this one I'm pretty sure is old. This, there was no Pathfinder skin. It's in the tracker. This is it. Okay. Sick, I got two seer uh, emotes. I love e skydive emotes because it gives me something to do while we land. <laughs> so uh, I'll take it. Two purple and a blue. Uh, it's this one. <laughs> it's this one. I know it's this one. I'm getting nervous. Why am I getting nervous? I'm like, I feel like I'm like, oh, like I feel like I didn't buy or I bought too many packs. Oh, the Nova skin. Yeah, I'm getting nervous. I don't know why I'm so nervous. I wasn't even like, well, I was like, so like, because the first heirloom I got was a Watson one. And that's, it's funny, quick antidote about this. I was like, this is the only heirloom I'm ever going to buy. Like, this is the only one I need. And it's the Watson one. And then the, the crypto one came out and I was like, oh no. I was like, oh no, I need this. Like, Crypto's not my most played, but I do enjoy playing him occasionally. But the heirloom was way too cool, and I was like, ooh, okay, I'll get it. But anyway, this Loba skin is interesting. I'll say that. I, I'll, I'll play with it. I'll, I'll equip it. Mm. Two purples and a blue. Beam. It's this one, I remember, because I think it's, it's so cute. That's cool. I'll have to change my thing okay here we go guys finally okay after opening painstakingly open many packs we finally arrived to the heirloom pack here we go okay get ready for the little ding 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 let's go she here we are oh uh, yeah, look at that. And then this, of course, we're gonna equip this. 
What a beautiful heirloom. Amazing job. Ever since I saw... Oh, okay, that's a weird, awkward angle, but... So pretty. It fits her so well, I think. Um, at first I was like, man, what is it? Man, what, what, what is this? You know, I was like, what, what the heck? But then I was like, oh no, this is like... There's nothing else that would have fit Valk better. So, let's go take a look at it in the firing range. Alright, come on to the light a little bit more so you guys can see it properly. I'll go all the way down. And here we are. Our first, well, my first look at the Valkyrie Heirloom. This thing sounds so sick. It sounds so cool. Sheesh, this thing is so cool. Let me see what it looks like when it flies. Very cool. They made it look so cool. And then I love the little effects with the um, the mini tiny jets on it where it's like purple. I think that looks so good with the orange. Even like, I feel like it has like an effect when I hit people. It's so weird. It might just be my eyes though. So. Okay. Enough bullying the bots. Let's see some of the inspection animations. Oh, and of course, something that we have to check is, of course, the... Yep, there it is. Each heirloom sort of has, like, a little spinny factor to it in which, like, you can spin it as you run. But, um... And you've got that. You just kind of, like, spin it. It's actually so funny. But I think they did it... They did a good job on it. It's like, wee! It looks like a little, like, plane. <laughs> That's so funny. And get us in third person. Thank you. Okay, and here we go. This is what it looks like. What the fuck? This is what it looks like third person when you're running with it. Sheesh. I'm glad that they're expanding, like, the way that they do heirlooms. Like, it's not just the little tiny knives or the little tiny uh, gadget that they have in their hand. It's, like, big swords and way much bigger weapons it's exciting because you don't know what you'll see next you know like for loba i would really love some fans that have knives on them but if they decide to do something else it's fine you know respawn if you want to like mm -hmm, make some fans because I, I love fans as weapons i think it's so cool and i think it fits loba pretty well but it's so it's it opens the door to so many possibilities for like heirlooms in the future. Just like like this one. Like who would have thought that this would have been her fucking heirloom, you know? Is it the most extensive in animation so far? Well what I've seen so far, maybe not. But even then, the model for this um heirloom is Grade A, top notch. It's amazing. It's incredibly well rendered. It's incredibly well thought out. Um, and this heirloom is so cool. This. He's got the skin. 
I'm the better Valk. I'm the better Valk. I'm the better Valk. I'm the better Valk. Valkdiff. 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 Do you hear me? You fuck. You got fucking Valkdiff. You fucking idiot. Idiot. I meant to say degenerate. And it fucking turned into an idiot.